So at this point, I need to determine just how deep to cut this spar. So this test, test sample I did, I'm going to go off of that. So it looks like if I go a quarter inch deep, and that's a fat three sixteenths up to a quarter. So I want this spar to sit below the foam wing, roughly a quarter inch. So I'm going to cut this thing accordingly. Pretty obvious at this point, this wood isn't light wood. Use this cut off to stabilize the back side of this ruler. strength of this spar, the way I have it configured, is in the compression. So I'm not going with the spar strength grain span wise. The only thing I'm utilizing the balsa wood for is the compression, the compressive strength to keep those carbon beams equal distance apart. So that's where the strength comes in. The strength is the carbon and this just aligns. So now <clears throat> we're at the stage here with the spars ready to go into this wing. And I was going to lighten this out. I had some uh, cutouts here. I was going to cut some of that out and I decided against it. The, the weight savings wasn't going to be enough to worry about. So in order to get this thing back in the wing, I wouldn't say tack glued in there, but it's going to be glued ever so lightly. Um, you don't want to add a lot of glue because it's excess weight. So most of this foam is going to be disappearing anyway, all of it behind the spar. So So I'll just take um, just a little bit of this tight bond three and we'll run a bead down there on top and bottom. And let's say you get this spar and it's not a perfectly centered. And it's probably not going to matter because um, there's going to be carbon toe on the top and bottom and it's going to conform to this toe. And then the um, 
carbon toe is going to be capped flush with the, the styrofoam. So we'll just put enough glue in there, get her down, and then here we'll put a little bit more glue on this side of the spar. Put a bead up there, on down the other side, and just a little bit down the middle. Now, the center line that was on this core. It becomes important that it's there now because this is how you're going to line up this core. So obviously this, this has got to go right back exactly where it was before. And you can sight down this, this line and you get that line just dead perfect. And you get this core flush. And it's not going to take a whole lot of pressure. Um, you just get it to where you're not distorting it. Snug it down. Make sure it's um, on the same plane. And that same thing out here at the tip. At the tip, you want to sight down this, this line you got and make sure it's perfect. And um, you can take a straight edge and verify it if you have to. Lay the straight edge across it. And double check everything before that glue kicks off. Composite. If there was kinks in it, it's all overkill. But it's uh, pretty much the way it works. You got to keep the toe in line with the load, I guess. So now, what I'm going to do is take my fingers and try to work this resin and stretch this fiber to where all these toes are lined up or all the fibers in the toe and I can feel as I'm squeegeeing this out that uh, it's becoming slicker you can tell when those fibers are lining up you don't get little bumps in it And I guess, you know, you could just buy some carbon fiber strips and cap it. This might be sort of overkill, but it's 
what I got. That's what I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to get some of this 332nd scrap and use a piece of this to actually push that fiber down in there. I'm trying not to get any of this excess resin all over my foam wing. thought about making this spar outside of the wing and then gluing it in there but then I thought you know I might as well utilize this uh, wing as the actual mold so I think I've got it compacted down in there pretty good Now the next step is to actually lay this cap on it and then I'm going to just take uh, some tape and tape it down. I'm just going to use the full length. 